We are back with some more Studio Wireless earphones. Previously, we have had some interesting headphones and earphones from the Studio brand, which I must admit have all had interesting and unique designs. And well, today we have a chance to review the new Studio Femme TWS earphones. So stick around and we'll see how good they actually perform. So these FEM, which is F-E-M, FEM wireless earphones, come in quite a large package. So let's just open it up. Well, the earphones themselves come very well packaged. Ooh, and again, it comes gift wrapped too. That's the same with some of the previous products. Let's just take some of this wrapping off and see what we have. And we are greeted with a fairly simple, clean, but bright and well designed box. What's this? Oh, we have a gift bag too. Wicked. Hmm. Well, that's nice. So initially, you do get a few specifications, like for example, the playback time says 20 hours. And to the back, we have a lot more information. But well, you know what? Let's just skip that and let's just get to the unboxing. Again, very clean, crisp, and bright. Let's go ahead and have a look at some of the accessories. And in the first box, we have four sets of earbuds. One set of extra large, one large, one medium, and one set of small earbuds. And yes, these are the half anchor type earbuds, which when fitted and placed within your ears, they anchor right into place. We also have, <laughs> God, that's tiny. So we've got a very small, oh, it's a type C. That's good. So yes, we've got a Type-C USB cable. So fast charging is certainly key. We also have the usual guarantee certificate, which lasts around 18 months. We also have some easy access cards for easy setup, which will give you simple indications of the actual functions of the earphones. In line with those flashcards, you also have the instruction manual, which is very detailed. Let's just place this all aside and let's look at the earphones themselves. So first of all, we actually got this nifty little charge case that not only has the studio logo, which is embedded to the top, but has this brown lanyard rope, which is attached, which I must admit always reminds me of soap and the rope. It does have a very soft feel with that matte white exterior. And I am aware that you can actually get these earphones in a black version too. To the rear, we also have that type C charge port for fast charging. And this lid, along with other studio earphones, is also magnetic. Let's open up the case and have a look at the earphones. So these are super white. I'm gonna sec. Oh, what's going on here? No. Dudes, I've been using this magic marker a moment ago. It's on my fingers. Basically, super white for like half a second ink. Hopefully it'll come off with a wet wipe or something. I don't know. But yeah, they're super, well, they're super bright white if you're buying them. Um, they lasted about, what, half a second before I got my hands on them. I just don't know how to take care of stuff. But anyway, let's see what they're like in the charge case. So putting these in the charge case. So these are actually magnetic. So they basically pull themselves right in. That's nice. Look, I get over that, look at that. But anyway, so there's the pins within the embedded charge sockets and you also have some charge indication lights. When placed in, they should indicate charging. Let's take them back out and let's have a look. So first of all, the earphones themselves are super light. In the specifications, they do state that they are 5.5 grams and they do indeed have touch control to the sides. So these earphones are described as having four noise cancelling microphones. They have a pair of half anchor earbuds already fitted that's five sets of earbuds then. So we have one XL, one large, two medium, and one small. And yes, just so to confirm, these earphones are indeed IPX5 splash proof. Now these TWS earphones are normally turned automatically on once they're took right out of the case. Simply use your device, turn Bluetooth on on that device, go ahead and select Studio Femme, accept the connection, and you'll be ready to blast some tunes. So yes, the Bluetooth is actually Bluetooth 5.0. You do have voice assistants like Siri and Google Assistant. And while using those touch controls, you can control the play pause button, as well as call answering, the previous and next song selection, and all the functions are in detail within the provided instructions. These particular earphones are described as having six hours single use, 20 hours use, recharging via the charge case, and having a Bluetooth range up to 10 meters. 
But we're going to try them in just now and we're going to see how good they are for ourselves. So first of all, comfortability. Well, the fit and comfort was fantastic. I must note that it's always important to choose the earbuds wisely so to get the best desired fit and sound quality. The way these earphones are molded just sank right into my ears and felt very comfortable. They were very secure thanks again to that molded shape and they were also anchored in thanks to those half anchor style earbuds. Earphones felt soft and light, they never once fell out of my ears even while working and I must say that the sound was pretty much isolated from the outside world. When it comes to the sound, bass was not too heavy. It was very subtle in fact. High tones were very well leveled, quite detailed in fact, and not too over the top. Mid levels however were a bit soft for my liking if I'm honest, but low tones were spot on. In whole the audio was well balanced and so was the clarity. You simply got quality without the exaggerating bass. That is certainly what these earphones bring. They actually sat well in fact with most genres of music. The microphones when making calls was another strong point. Calls were very clear, I used these earphones for 3 days and my ears never become sweaty after long use. Usage time when I got 4 hours 45 minutes out of a full charge and that's out of those 6 hours that were specified. I must state though that I did use 100% volume the whole time and I listened to purely hip hop music and some dance music too. You can achieve much more time if you reduce that volume to around 85-90%. to 90%. I did get free charges out of the charge case with a little energy that was still stored. And with that distance, well, these Studio Femme earphones did exceed the 10 meters without no obstacles being in the way. Overall, I really do like these Femme wireless earphones. They do stand out and I did have a few people notice them and ask me about them. I would say that they are definitely stylish looking, I do hope that they stay clean. I think the soft material is a nice touch and seeing that even though the case was pristine with this case being in my pocket for three days has shown a bit of discolouring obviously through placing them in my jeans just here. This has been in my pocket and while I've been working um, it's actually come off onto the bottom of the charge case. Now I've tried wiping that and that actually won't come off. But listen I've only got positive things to say about these earphones and then again I've actually got one sour point which I do need to mention. Okay so when it comes to the actual touch controls, they do require an awful lot of patience and getting used to. I must say at certain times within the three days, it was very frustrating while working with these earphones in place. And that was simply by trying to tap through some of the functions. Some of the touches don't quite correspond to the feature that it controls. For example, you only have to press once to play a pause, press twice to skip a track, press three times on the right earphone to turn the volume up, and press three times on the left earphone to turn the volume down. Now I tried this many times while I was working with these earphones in place and it didn't actually feel like those touches were picked up correctly. So yeah, patience and using those touch controls very gently is key. Nevertheless, I still love them. I didn't oversell with overpacked bass like some earphones tend to do and for the price of £119, that's around 157 in US dollars. Well, they certainly fit into a mid-range category. Now, I do have a link for these earphones in the video description down below, along with a unique discount code. That code should be on screen just now. And if you're interested, well, go get yours. But now it's time for my all-important rating. So what would I give these Studio Femme earphones as my usual rating out of 10? Well, today I'm going to give these TWS earphones a... 8 out of 10. Everything was almost perfect with these earphones. They do look high class when they clean eyes, but it's just those touch controls which were the only negative points. A wonderful earphones to use, got great sound, and fantastic with most genres of music. I can certainly recommend them as long as you're patient enough with those touch controls. But anyway, guys, I hope this review helped, and if so, please go ahead and smash that like button. Please subscribe, making sure you hit that bell notification option so you guys stay updated on all my new uploads. Please do us a favour and share this video wherever possible. And yes, I will see you over on my new video coming real soon, so stay tuned for that. So guys, thanks for watching and peace.